The history of slavery in the United States is a painful chapter that has left an indelible mark on the nation's past. However, there are certain aspects of this history that have been overlooked or inadequately taught in schools. One such topic is the practice of slave breeding, a systematic and brutal method employed by slaveholders to increase the enslaved population for economic gain. In today's video, we will delve into 10 facts about slave breeding that schools have failed to adequately teach, shedding light on the dark reality of American slavery and its enduring impact. Without further ado, let's begin. The Economic Motive Behind Slave Breeding Slave breeding was driven by economic interests. Slaveholders saw the enslaved population as valuable property and sought to maximize their profits by increasing the number of slaves they owned. The offspring of enslaved individuals were considered commodities and could be sold or kept to work on plantations. Slave breeding as a calculated practice Slave breeding was not accidental, but a meticulously planned and controlled practice. Slaveholders would strategically pair enslaved men and women to produce children who could be sold or used for labor on their own plantations. The pairing of enslaved individuals was often arranged based on their physical attributes, skills, and perceived value. The fancy trade and the exploitation of enslaved women. Enslaved women, particularly those who were considered attractive or had desirable physical features, were often subjected to the fancy trade. This involved forcing them into sexual relationships with slave traders, overseers, or even the plantation owners themselves, with the goal of producing mixed-race children who would fetch higher prices in the market. The Role of Slave Auctions in the Breeding Process Slave auctions were not only about selling individual slaves but also served as a marketplace for buying and selling enslaved individuals specifically for breeding purposes. Slaveholders would attend auctions with the intention of acquiring men and women capable of producing strong and healthy offspring, the separation of families and the disruption of parent-child bonds. Slave breeding often involved separating enslaved individuals from their families. Men and women would be forcibly separated from their spouses and children, sold to different plantations, and subjected to brutal conditions that made it nearly impossible to maintain family ties. This deliberate disruption of familial bonds perpetuated trauma and further dehumanized the enslaved population. The Psychological Impact on Enslaved Individuals The knowledge that enslaved individuals could be bred like livestock took a severe toll on their psychological well-being. The constant fear of being forcibly paired with someone they did not choose, the loss of autonomy over their bodies and reproductive choices, and the perpetual threat of having their children taken away inflicted deep emotional scars. Enslaved individuals experienced various forms of trauma, including physical and sexual abuse, family separation, constant fear, and witnessing violence against themselves and others. This trauma often resulted in symptoms consistent with PTSD, such as flashbacks, nightmares, hypervigilance, and emotional distress. Enslaved individuals lived in a perpetual state of anxiety and fear due to the arbitrary and brutal nature of slavery. The Resistance and Resilience of Enslaved Communities Despite the horrors of slave breeding, enslaved individuals demonstrated remarkable resilience and resistance. They found ways to protect their families, preserve their cultural traditions, and resist the dehumanizing effects of the system. Slave breeding only served to reinforce their determination to fight for freedom and a better future. Enslaved individuals retained and preserved elements of their African cultural heritage, including language, music, dance, storytelling, spiritual beliefs, and traditional practices. These cultural expressions served as a form of resistance and provided a sense of identity, community, and continuity in the face of severe oppression. Enslaved individuals actively resisted their bondage through organized rebellions and individual acts of defiance. Examples include the Haitian Revolution, the Stoner Rebellion, and the Nat Turner Rebellion. The Legacy of Slave Breeding in African American Genealogy the practice of slave breeding has had a lasting impact on African-American genealogy. The forced pairing of enslaved individuals has made it challenging for descendants to trace their ancestry and connect with their African roots. This loss of historical and familial connections continues to be felt today. Slavery era records, such as birth certificates, marriage licenses, and census data, were often incomplete, inconsistent, or deliberately excluded enslaved individuals. This lack of comprehensive documentation further complicates the process of tracing African-American genealogy and reconstructing family histories. 
Enslaved individuals were frequently subjected to name changes by slaveholders, severing their connections to their African origins and ancestral names. The adoption of new names often reflected the desires or whims of slaveholders, making it difficult to trace lineage and reclaim lost family identities. The Erasure of Slave Breeding from Historical Narratives The omission of slave breeding from mainstream historical narratives has contributed to a distorted understanding of American slavery. By neglecting this aspect of the institution, schools have perpetuated a sanitized version of history that fails to address the systemic nature of oppression and the lasting effects it has had on generations of African Americans. Historical narratives often focus on specific aspects of slavery, such as plantation life, labor exploitation, and abolitionist movements, while neglecting the systematic practice of slave breeding. This selective approach has obscured the full extent of the exploitation and dehumanization experienced by enslaved individuals. In the aftermath of the Civil War and Reconstruction era, there was a concerted effort to suppress the true history of slavery. Southern states implemented laws and policies that aimed to control and limit the education and representation of African Americans, thereby perpetuating the erasure of slave breeding from public memory. The Importance of Acknowledging and Confronting the Truth Acknowledging the reality of slave breeding is crucial for a comprehensive understanding of American history. By confronting this painful chapter, schools can provide a more accurate portrayal of the experiences of enslaved individuals, recognize their agency and resistance, and foster a more empathetic and inclusive society. In order to have a comprehensive understanding of history, it is essential to acknowledge and confront all aspects, even the most uncomfortable ones. By omitting or downplaying the practice of slave breeding, historical education perpetuates an incomplete and distorted narrative. A thorough examination of the truth allows us to grasp the full extent of the atrocities committed during slavery. Recognizing the existence of slave breeding is a way to honor the experiences of the millions of enslaved individuals who endured this brutal practice. The practice of slave breeding stands as a testament to the dehumanizing nature of American slavery. Its omission from historical education perpetuates a limited and incomplete understanding of the institution. By shedding light on these 10 overlooked facts, we can challenge the prevailing narrative, honor the experiences of enslaved individuals, and ensure that the truth of this dark chapter is fully recognized and understood. Only by acknowledging the past can we move forward with a commitment to justice, equality, and healing. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.